If you are sick of the security incidents LastPass has experienced over the last decade, there have been several of them, not just the last one, then you may be ready to move your data to a new password manager. If you are wondering why I still recommend a password manager after the most recent issues, well, you're in luck. I am working on a video about this opinion to be posted later. But for now, let's just get you sorted and secure with a new password manager. Remember folks, even if you have been a paying customer for a decade, you can always vote with your wallet and choose an alternative. I have recently posted a video about the best password managers, giving the pros and the cons of each. So check out that video link down below to see which ones I recommend. Today, I am using RoboForm as an example to import LastPass data into, but all of them work pretty similarly, so you can use pretty much any of them. So let's go ahead and get our data out of LastPass into the new password manager of your choice and update the data in case that information that used to be stored in LastPass does end up being breached somehow. Now, since we are using available tools, it is important to take this slowly and check the info after you put it into the new password manager to ensure that everything was imported correctly and you didn't lose anything. The last thing we want to happen when switching password managers is you to lose all those passwords and get locked out of accounts or have to reset a bunch of logins. Now, the first step is to hop on a computer with a browser. I found that it is much easier to transfer your data to a new password manager whenever you're on a computer and you can audit the process yourself. First thing you wanna do is log into your LastPass account via lastpass.com or via the extension. Either way, go to your vault and you will see this interface. On the left-hand side, way down at the bottom, it's kind of hidden, is this link that says Advanced Options. There is an option in this setting to export all of your data as a CSV, which is also the most commonly used file to import that data into a new password manager. So click Export, type in your master password, and this feature may send you an email and have you verify that email if you want to indeed export your data. I believe that this is to stop or slow down attackers if they had somehow gotten access to your vault and they wanted to export the data, they would also have to have access to your email inbox to verify the export just in case it happens. That's why I think it's there and that's how to do it. So once you have verified that, click advanced options, export, and this will require you to enter your master password for the LastPass vault again. Now this will automatically download a CSV file and you can save it wherever you want on your computer. It doesn't really matter. Now this is important. This file that you just downloaded, it is not encrypted. So if you double click on it and open it as a text file, it is plain text. It is vulnerable. Anybody could read it. If anybody copies this file, they could also see this data with their own eyes. So don't leave it laying around on your computer. Don't do this on a public Wi-Fi account or don't do this at a coffee shop. Do this on a secure network and don't leave it laying around on your computer waiting to get imported into a new password manager. Do do this entire process at once so you don't forget about this file. This is so important. That's why I'm harping on it. You will want to delete it after you are done. I will remind you again at the end of this video. Now, I love my job. I love being able to share these security tips so anybody watching them can take steps to increase your security and privacy online. And I love when I find tools that can save me time. I have so much to do in my adult life now. I'm running this business. I'm taking care of the house. I'm trying to maintain a social life and play Magic the Gathering every week, and I'm changing all of my passwords as well. It's hard, so I don't want to waste hours of time every month trying to opt out of every data broker who's publicizing my information without my consent. That's why I use Delete Me, who's also sponsoring this video, to keep an eye on those sites, and anytime my data pops up, they send an opt-out request for me. Now, since Delete Me searches for your data online continuously, they also send reports reports every quarter so you can audit their finding and results. My most recent report showed me that Delete Me removed a ton of data. They checked a bunch of different sites and they reviewed thousands of pieces of data to find anything that specifically matched my identity. This is one of those steps I personally take to protect myself from social engineering and phishing. I love being able to work with a company that aligns with my own passions for privacy and I am so happy to share this 
awesome, awesome discount with you. This is a great discount. You can use the code SNUBS at checkout. That's S-N-U-B-S for 20% off any of the consumer plans. That's SNUBS for 20% off and see how Delete Me can help take your online privacy to the next level. Click the link below or hit joindeleteme.com slash Morse code spelled just like the title of this channel to sign up today. And a huge thank you to Delete Me for sponsoring this episode. Now that your data is out of LastPass, you have that CSV file, it's ready to go. Keep your LastPass account active and accessible until you are absolutely sure that everything has been imported into your new password manager with no issues. If you already watched the video I did on my favorite password managers, then you probably already picked one that you wanna try out. So open that new one, create your account if you haven't already, access your new empty vault. I'm assuming it's empty because we have imported anything yet. Each of these password managers will have some kind of import tool that lets you import your CSV data into the new manager. Now, if you run into issues, see if they have some kind of option to import from LastPass specifically, or if there is an FAQ page that says how to do it. Sometimes the new password manager will not understand the way LastPass exports their CSV information. So you may need to do a quick Google search to see how to import, but it does work. I am using RoboForum as my password manager. They have a very, very easy import. So to import into RoboForum, you just click your email address up at the top, you choose import and then click LastPass. Use this tool to import the CSV file that you created and let it generate all those new entries in your new manager. It's kind of exciting to see all the new entries get imported into RoboForum. You see them all just flash in front of your eyes. It's pretty cool. Now, I highly recommend when it's done to go through and open each of these entries and cross compare it with the entry in LastPass for that same login. Now, this is not a necessary step, but I am a completionist in video game side quests. So consider this one a side quest. So for example, I'm clicking through all my different like shopping websites and making sure that I have them saved in RoboForm. And I am also cross referencing the same ones in LastPass to make sure the password matches in both places. I'm comparing both to make sure the password is the same and there aren't any characters missing or imported incorrectly. I'm also checking the username and the links and any additional notes are correct as well. And then I move on to the next one and so on and so forth. So once I know everything has successfully copied over correctly, I like to take it a step further by making sure everything autofills correctly on my computer and my phone. So I go ahead and make sure that RoboForm is updated. My vault is synced on both of the platforms that I use and I just go through and check them and make sure everything is autofilling right for the applications as well as the browser on desktop. These should work fine, but you may need to add apps as a second domain to an entry to ensure that autofilling is working properly for both the browser and the apps. Sometimes companies use different domains for these tools or applications, so the password manager may not recognize an app as needed to use the same login. Now, here's a pro tip and something that you might as well do right now, make sure to add a hardware token or the strongest two-factor authentication option available to your new password manager and set up a really, really strong master password as well. Next, we're going to change all of our passwords. Now, this part takes the longest. Due to the LastPass breach, I recommend changing all of the passwords that you had saved in your password manager. If you're like me and you review tech for living and you have like 600 passwords for all the different apps that you have reviewed in the past, this may take some time. <laughs> if you are a normal human being and you have 100 or less, it will take you a couple of hours maybe. Either way, given the recent news, this is a very important step that you should not skip. It's also a good idea to check your password vault health for any leaks or weak passwords now and then just to stay on top of it. One thing I personally considered and I actually talked to my friend about this while I was writing the script was, do I want to change my passwords before or after I move them out of LastPass? You can make arguments for both of those, but I'm leaning towards after, just so LastPass doesn't ever see my new passwords at all whatsoever. Now, whenever I'm moving this much data into a new service, I tend to give myself some time before I delete the old service and cancel my account.
account completely, just in case I notice any discrepancies or if I need to fix any issues. Again, not necessary, but I like my side quests, so this is something that I like to do just to remain cautious. Okay, next we are officially going to cancel our subscription with LastPass. If you have signed up on mobile, this is done through the same page where all of your other subscription settings are located. I have included some links down below showing tutorials on where you can find this on mobile. If you are using LastPass on a laptop or a computer, this is found under your account settings. Then click on my account, click on cancel auto renewal and follow the on-screen prompts. Also from account settings, click show advanced settings and destroy all sessions to log out of any devices that currently have active sessions logged in. Remember that video that I just did about cookies and sessions? Yeah, watch that to learn what a session is. They're super fun. Do you know what your master password for LastPass is? Okay, good. I'm just checking in case you accidentally log out of your current session while going through this process. You just wanna make sure that you know what your master password is. It makes it so much easier to get this whole thing done. Back on the account settings again, now you wanna remove any trusted devices. So you go through that setting and click over to the next setting page and remove mobile devices and revoke those. Okay, so now the only session and device that should be logged into your LastPass account is the current one. I don't like putting all of my eggs in one basket, so to speak, but I know that LastPass can also work for 2FA keys. If you are using the LastPass Authenticator for 2FA or you're using LastPass to create one-time passcodes, you will need to make sure those keys are re-registered with a new Authenticator app or a hardware key key if possible. So if you have any logins that had 2FA keys, log into those accounts and set up a new 2FA key with your new password manager or with a new app or hardware key. Now you can delete your data. Unfortunately, I don't see a way to select all. I looked through the settings and I didn't see anything that said select all. So you have to click on them one by one. And then you have to go into account settings and click deleted items and delete those too. But luckily they do have an option to permanently delete all the deleted items. Then, and only then, can you finally delete your LastPass account? Now to do this from the browser on desktop, you click account settings, go to my account, then delete or reset account. Go through the on-screen prompts. It's going to ask you multiple times if you are totally sure that you wanna delete your account and you do. So just continue through it, be patient, click on all the okays and yeses and you're almost done. The last steps are to uninstall that ish from your devices. We don't wanna see it, so bye. Don't let the door hit you on the way out, LastPass. We are done with you. And then, and only then, you can delete that import file and delete it from your trash too, in case you didn't think to delete it from your trash on your desktop. You're done, you're officially done. So you are now set up with a new password manager. You have deleted LastPass, you've deleted your account, you're not paying for a subscription anymore you're set and you're good to go. Congratulations, I'm so proud of you. This is a big project, it's a big initiative and taking control of where your passwords are stored is very, very important, especially when you have so much news coming out about vulnerabilities and breaches. Make sure to check out this video if you haven't seen my favorite password managers that I recommend. I'll also be doing a part two of that video along with why I still recommend password managers as a whole. That will be a separate video as well. I also have a bunch of videos about two-factor authentication and sessions and cookies, all sorts of security things. If you're watching this when it posts, I am almost to 100,000 subscribers. That's a huge goal of mine. And if you're watching this for the first time, please consider subscribing if it helped. I'll see you later. Bye, y'all.